What's up, man? 25 Gamers, welcome to today's video, guys. In today's video, we're going to be discussing how to get some uh, left side pressure out of the nickel 245 formation. This is going to be some man pressure that we're going to send. Um, remember, we like to come out in the buck slant three every single play, um, but the, the actual play we're going to be using today is the quick audible down, and you'll actually have to set that up, I guess, with this specific playbook. But the uh, play here is the silver, silver shoot pinch. Uh, so let me just uh, get rid of that, uh, whatever play I came out in. But basically, uh, nor in most, and I ended up hitting that stupid flip sides again. I don't. I always do that. I've been doing that all week. I don't know what's going on with me. But uh, let me see here. Let me just uh, run a play here. Get down, get down, get down. And uh, what we're going to show you today is the silver shoot pinch from the 245 out of the nickel. Uh, now this is in most playbooks, this will actually be your man audible. But uh, anyway, what we want to do here is we want to base a line, spread our defensive line. We want to crash our defensive line down, and that's all we really want to do here. And you should see we get we should get some pressure here from Harris off that edge. Let's see if it works properly. And there you see we get that we get actually two way pressure, uh, and that's I mean sometimes you'll get that B gap pressure on the far right. Uh, sometimes you won't. If you don't want to if you don't want to actually blitz this guy, I think you can. Uh, if I remember correctly from what I worked on earlier this morning, you should be able to zone him off, and you still can kind of get that roll pressure. So let's take a look here what we're doing. So uh, what, what I like to do, with especially with this one, is I really like to man align and press coverage uh, just to kind of you know get up in the box and try to make a play, and I'll probably throw this guy into a deep zone just as a last resort. Uh, but you see we typically will get that get that edge pressure off that edge, off both, side, both edge players two-way edge pressure but if you don't want to send that many people I understand that and so there's a way to do this only sending three guys at the quarterback you want to uh, spread your line you want to crash your line down obviously you want to base a line then you want to um, press coverage so that Harris comes down off the edge here okay then what you want to do is you want to take this guy Jackson and I typically leave him blitzing but if you really don't want to blitz him you could throw him into a quarterback spy then you want to take this uh, linebacker here, Miller. You could put him in any zone you want. I typically will put him in a curl flat zone. And then you want to take this linebacker, Woodyard, and I'll put him into a hook zone. And we're trying to generate that three-man rush off that left side. And, and I mean, it's not it's not a perfect pass rush. It's not a you know it's not a uh, perfect formula, but it is something that you can use. And uh, typically, you know, you will have pressure with this. Let me try a little variance off this and see if this works a little better for you. And that one actually is a little bit easier to pick up. But basically, guys, with this blitz, it's uh, there's two different, uh, again, there's two different setups. There's the six-man, and then there's a three-man. There's also a five-man where we just, uh, basically, we just zone out Woodyard. And we spread our line, we crash our line down, uh, and then we zone Woodyard. And any zone we want, typically, I'll put him in a curl flat, and I'll use our linen. And you see here, now we get that edge rush off the left edge. Okay, so get him coming in untouched that's just some man pressure uh and the idea is obviously to build off of that with different things that you can do with it uh but again uh what you want to do here for the five man version is base a line spread your defensive line crash your defensive line down curl flat this uh linebacker here or you could drop him in whatever zone you wanted and uh now you'll see we should get that left edge rush kind of looping in off that left edge and uh just kind of challenging uh Kind of challenging the quarterback a little bit. Another thing that you, you know you might think about as well with all this, I mean, there's just several variances that you can do, but uh, you may not even actually have to spread your line. Sometimes you'll be able to get a little better pressure if you don't. So all these all these nuances, all these things to try out. But I'm telling you guys, uh, the formula for blitzing, especially out of the two four five, uh, is to crash your line down. Okay, so. I mean, as you're seeing here, I'm having pretty good success getting that edge rush in when I don't spread the line. So you may just not want to spread the line. But obviously, I mean, there's other ways too because uh, one of the things as well, though, if you don't spread the defensive line, if I remember right, and you spread your linebacker, we're going to try to get that six man, six man in too. And you see you, you can't get the six man in. But you, if you spread your defensive line, and this is just, I mean, this is just me kind of – putting my two cents on it if you spread your defensive line you can get the six man uh two free okay so there's two different setups there uh five man and six man uh spread line don't spread line let me know what you guys liked if you if you would rather the six uh send six get two free or send five get one free look 
you know that would that would pretty much determine your setup but I'll try to remind myself to make sure you get those setups in the description for you uh, I'll post the uh, the six man the five man and then let's make sure that there's not a three man out of this so if we do something like that and we get three man pressure and we don't so I'll just post the six man and the five man pressure setups in the description but thanks for watching guys as you can see I mean sometimes blitzes take a little bit to evolve uh, but typically the end result is uh, pretty effective so that's silver shoot pinch guys it's uh, out of the nickel 245 and that's our man blitz for this week